Ryan, you guys started off really well, but in the second half, things got a little nervy and chaotic. Uh, your overall thoughts on the game? Yeah, I would agree with you. I thought the first 30, 25 minutes of the game was really good. Uh, we stuck to our game plan, and, and it showed what we're capable of doing when we do that. Um, but I think uh, there was a sense of complacency and um, overconfident, um, which really led to yeah 60 minutes when when we're struggling when we shouldn't be, uh, especially at home. So yeah, going forward we need to uh, deal with those situations much much better. Uh, Ryan, we just talked to. Uh, Coach D'Agostino, he said that um, in the first half you guys went along with the game plan. Second half you strayed away from the game plan. Why do you think? What could you think contributed to that straying away from the game plan after halftime? I think uh, just being naive in overall complacency um, as a whole team, all of us, uh, every single guy that was on the field um, could probably admit that they could have done a bit more. Um, so yeah, it's. I think it's a good learning experience, um, but one that we could look at. That okay, we got the win, but it's something that yeah we could learn from. And you got your first MLS assist of the season tonight. How did you rate your performance, especially in that opening half an hour? Yeah, I thought I did what the coaching staff asked of me, but I definitely could have done more. Um, there was times myself where I admit, yeah, I was complacent. Maybe if it was a closer game, I would have made that extra one run or done that extra bit. So I can even I can say for speak for myself at least that yeah, I could have done more. But overall, um, I'm happy I got my first assist. I think that was a big weight on my back, uh, almost getting it on Wednesday. So uh, being able to get it tonight was uh, good for my self confidence. And uh, yeah, at the end, I'm just happy to win the team, uh, help the team win. We've heard the word uh, naive quite a few times from from Dan over the last couple of games, and uh, when it's come to confidence, you know, there's been like times you've been you've lost confidence too quickly, or in this case, maybe gotten a little too confident too quickly. Uh, going into this break, like, how do you snap that out? How do you find that sort of mental consistency as a team? So you're not too high, too low, and you just maintain. It's a very good question. Um, I think the older guys on the team and the leaders, the guys that have been here for a couple of years, I think they need to help the group and help maybe the younger guys understand um, kind of what it takes. I mean, you see the best team in the league, the best teams in the league for the past couple of years. They, when they're winning, they dominate, and you feel it. You know, uh, tonight I don't think we did that. And I do think we're one of the top teams, um, but that's that's something that we can improve on. Is that when we're up, uh, you know, keeping our foot on the other team's neck the whole way. Just uh, one last thing. Just what are your thoughts on on Ryan? Like the run he's on, and I don't think has been matched in, in team history in terms of the contributions offensively. Just what are your thoughts playing with the with the squad? Yeah, Caldi is uh, he's unreal. He always makes the the right pass you know when I go back and watch my own film I'm like I could have made this pass this pass better this pass this decision um but yeah I mean you guys see it with Goldie he, he always makes the right decision um perfect weight of pass um and just sees everything um and yeah I think that's a guy that uh the team especially the younger guys could look to uh, obviously, being our captain this year, uh, playing a lot of minutes, and, and some, he's a guy that helps the team so much defensively. Um, so, if if everyone else could kind of mimic his work rate, um, then I think we'll be in a good place. Ryan, why do you think Ryan Gold does not get enough props or accolades from around the league? Why don't I think he does? Yeah, why not? Um, that's a good question. I think it's because he's not. Uh, a flashy guy, personality, or um, I don't know. It's very typical of the league uh, to not give props to to us in Vancouver. But I think that's a mentality that we take on. That it's fine. We don't. I don't think he wants that. I don't, I don't think the the team looks at it like it's a big deal. Uh, we know what he's capable of, um, and it shows every time he plays. Thank you very much. No problem. Ryan.
There it is.